hello everyone welcome again to easy media youtube channel this video is on the installation of the automatic rotation 10.1 android car stereo so i did a previous video of this stereo and that was on the unboxing and review and this video is just going to show you how i installed it on a toyota venza 2011 so there you see that's the default car stereo that comes with the vehicle and we're just going to walk you through how i did the installation so here the first thing you need to do is to pull out this bottom uh part here you just pull it out you don't need any screw to take it out so pull it from the bottom and that's it there then you want to take out the first screw that holds the air condition uh, panel uh, so you need a star screwdriver to do that this is basically for the toyota venza 2011 so after taking out the screw uh, you're gonna just pull out uh, pull up the uh, air condition uh, panel there and it's just going to pop out uh, be careful because there is a connection cable there that connects to the panel you just uh, uh, pull it out and that's it it's very easy and it's quite interesting to know how easy it is to take out this dashboard of the Venza 2011 so beneath there you're going to see that, that the stereo has four screws and it's a square head screw so you're going to need a square head screwdriver and you take out uh, the first front ones then there are two back screws there that are very difficult to remove so in doing that you're going to need a universal square size 10 a screw like this i got this one from amazon and it's quite uh, very cheap so you just can get this from your local hardware store So you're going to need that to take out the, the back screws just like I've taken it out and you have to remove the wire that connects to the top panel there before you get the harness cable for the stereo. So pull out the harness cable for the stereo and that would just be it. So I'm going to skip a lot of uninstallation process here just because uh, uh, not everybody is going to have uh, Toyota Venza to do but basically you have to do the same when you take out the harness. So the, the antenna cable there is what I'm taking out and you just remove all the harness cable. So in order to make this video short and quick I'm going to just skip some part here. I've already put in the two USB uh, cables that comes with the uh, Android uh, car stereo and there you have the uh, connection wire also for the GPS antenna so everything you see here I've taken out the old uh, stereo and I have all these cables here to connect to the new uh, stereo so in order to be able to fit in the harness uh, wires I got this uh, uh, Toyota harness wire for the Venza and I'm just gonna plug in the various spots that match the harness wire so you can easily connect that harness cable to to the new uh, universal uh, auto rotation cast area so there you see i'm just plugging in the harness cable and you have all these other three that are left there that i didn't use so here's the android um, rotation a cast stereo uh, if you watch the previous video on the unboxing and you will definitely see that this is it so basically what you see here are the ports or the various ports there to be connected to the uh, stereo and that will be it so for the um, for the dash uh, frame here you can get this from Aliexpress if you want this is specifically for 10.1 inch screen uh, audio uh, player for the Venza this is just for Toyota Venza and you have all the screws there that I need to connect to the universal uh, uh, auto rotation stereo there so you have the port the uh, screw holes there that holds the various screws that matches the 10.1 inch frame i already switched the vent uh, component from the old uh, component that i changed from the car and i already have everything in place also so what i'm going to do here is just to make sure i get the screws to connect to the um, android stereo so you just put it in there and you screw in the uh, screws i'm using a uh, square head uh, screwdriver because i have a square head screw screws so i'm just going to screw in that
so there are the buttons you see them they still press and everything fits perfectly well the way i actually imagined it so next you need to get your cables to match into the pots so i'm going to take out the harness uh, uh, wires that i put in there before and take it to the stereo to actually see how they fit and match So after taking the harness cable, I'm going to just make sure everything is in place before I go try this out on the stereo. Here I'm at the back of the vehicle now and I'm going to just put in there. So this is the harness cable. I'm just going to show you the default uh, harness wires that actually comes with the universal stereo. That's the power uh, wire that comes. This is also the second one is the audio, and the third is the camera. So we're gonna just plug in and test out the stereo. So for this player, I'm not gonna use the audio uh, cables because I don't have an uh, amplifier for this vehicle. But if you're going to have an amplifier for your vehicle, those are going to come handy. And here you see I've connected that. I'm going to plug in this uh, indication wires for the dashboard and make sure that every clip is there. And I'm just going to put this in so we see how this works. It's a beautiful thing to know how this actually matched. So there you go, the stereo is on and it looks pretty bright. The screen resolution is pretty very good you might not be able to get it uh, quite right now because it's it's kind of dark here in the basement uh, parking that i am and there i'm putting back the air condition panel and i'm just gonna clip it in and there you go so i'm putting the last panel there no screws and you're just gonna push it in and snap so it's, that's it for the uh, connection back everything is in place now the installation is well and we're just gonna see how the stereo is so i'm gonna put back the the gear handle just to make sure that everything works perfectly well and that's that's basically it so this is the overall look of the stereo after installation and you see how beautiful the dashboard is right now it's it's quite amazing to actually see this beautiful piece here so i'm gonna just give you a quick test i'm not gonna walk through the basic specification of this i already talked about the specification in the previous video so here you go how everything works and there you see the applications panel it's basically android uh, feel and i'm just going to show you quickly how the auto uh, rotation works so there i'm just going to show you the navigation and this um, beautiful stereo comes with uh, wi-fi so presently i've already connected the wi-fi to my mobile device hotspot and there you see the maps works very well so next i'm going to just show you how this beautiful piece rotates so i'm hitting the rotate button and you see there wow nice so basically that's the that's a beautiful part of the stereo the rotation is amazing and it actually has this tesla feel you know now my toyota venza 2011 looks more like a, a 2020 uh, vehicle with the dash uh screen here and you see how everything works i'm gonna go to the play store and the beautiful thing is that you can actually download any android um, app to use on this vehicle the interface there i downloaded it it's a car audio uh player and it's basically gives you this beautiful head unit and here's the video resolution it's pretty amazing like i can't even imagine how how clear and how high definition this video is I, I i mean it's a beautiful thing to have and it's also a beautiful thing to know that you can actually play videos you can download as much videos because the internal memory of this device is it's about 126 gigabyte and it has 2 gig ram and 5 gig rom 
so that's basically it guys thank you guys for coming to watch this video uh, if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe smash the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop a new video and for our returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back and see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.